Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of History of Manga in America. My name is Alex. This is Comic Culture Voyager. Go ahead and hit a like and subscribe and enjoy. Following Astro Boy's success over at NBC, other television networks would follow suit with localizing their own Japanese properties and hoping of catching that same lightning in a bottle. You had the giant robot anime Gigantor debuting in 1968, and one year before that, in 1967, the ABC localization of Mach Go Go Go, or as it's better known as in America, Speed Racer. Speed Racer was created by Tatsuo Yoshida, a prominent figure in manga and anime during the 1950s and up through the 70s. Among other creations, Yoshida was commissioned in 1959 to create the Japanese adaption of Superman, the first time an American superhero was licensed for Japanese comics, and it was made after the popularity of the Adventures of Superman series in Japan. Now, this comic book series was not a typical adaption. These were really early attempts at bringing properties to Japan, and for this, the pages were redrawn entirely in some cases, panels reworked, resized, scenes were expanded, and for some reason, Batman and Superman's body and proportions often get wonky in places. Tatsuya Yoshida is not said to be alone in this effort either. It isn't clear exactly how many people worked on this version of Superman, but it's said that Yoshida did a majority of the 14 volume series. It's also worth noting that this series is the first appearance for a lot of DC characters like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and many others being introduced for the first time in Japan. After Yoshida was in attendance of a showcase of works by Osama Tezuka's Mushi Productions in 1962, Yoshida would go on to create his own animation studio with his brothers, Tatsunoko Productions. It would also inspire Yoshida to create his own Astro Boy. Space Ace, debuting in 1965, and while Space Ace was still in production, he began to develop a new series for an older teenager audience. And after seeing the success Astro Boy had in America, developed a series specifically with an American audience in mind. Building on a previous idea he had called Pilot Ace following a young racer, he injected it with Western sensibilities. Speed Racer's looks came from Elvis's young racing, pompadour wearing character from the 1965 film Viva Las Vegas. The Mach 5 and its gadgets were based on Goldfinger and James Bond's car, the Aston Martin, and its variety of gadgets that helped James Bond throughout the movie. Finally, the character's name, Go Mifune, Speed, for the American show, was based on Japanese superstar Toshiro Mifune. Its title in Japan, Mach Go Go Go, references a few things actually. Go is Japanese for the number five, the car's name is the Mach 5, or in Japanese, the Mach Go. The obvious meaning of Go in English. And finally, the character's name, in Japanese at least, Go Mifune. Mach Go 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 debuted in Japan in 1966, and by a year later, it was adapted into an anime with a deal already made for American distribution before the series was even made. For the American market, names were changed, such as obviously the main character from Go Mifune to Speed Racer, leading generations of American audiences to assume the M on Speed's helmet stood for Mach, and not his real name, Mafune. Speed Racer debuted nearly simultaneously alongside the Japanese series in 1967 to great success in both Japan and abroad. But it wouldn't last long, as Tatsunoko wouldn't see another property picked up by an American studio for almost 10 years. The 1970s saw the studio expand into other genres, and they would go on to influence the Super Sentai series, uh, with the series like Neo Human Kashan, Space Knight Tekaman, and Science Ninja Team Gachaman. A series that five years later will become better known in the United States as Battle of the Planets. But before Battle of the Planets would introduce a new generation of kids in America to anime, another property would arrive that would open up audiences to science fiction and fantasy like never before opening doors for series like Gachamon and countless other science fiction properties. And that was Star Wars. Released in 1977, Star Wars was such a massive hit, it impacted not just the big screen with studios seeing the potential of high-end of high science fiction storytelling, but also brought its various derivatives, parodies, and even music. Every studio and producer in every corner of their own market was looking for their next Star Wars, or at least something Star Wars adjacent for the new market of Star Wars turned science fiction and fantasy fans. 
One such producer was Sandy Frank. Mostly working with television game shows and variety shows, and following the sudden wave of Star, of Star Wars fever, he had come across a Japanese cartoon that caught his attention, and it was Science Ninja Team Gachamon. Sandy Frank saw a property he could localize and bring to American audiences. He made a deal with the production studio, and the series was dubbed and edited for American audiences, as well as the title changing from Science Ninja Team Gachamon to something a little bit more Star Wars-y. And on September 12, 1978, Battle of the Planets came out. The series was a massive success, and along with Star Blazers, introduced countless people to anime. Star Blazers was the American adaption of space battleship Yamato by Laiji Matsumoto, a seminal mangaka famous for his series Galaxy Express, Captain Harlock, and his work with Daft Punk. Battleship Yamato would get a comic book adaption in 1983, but the actual manga that it was based on wouldn't be released for quite some time. Back to the story at hand, with the success of Battle of the Planets came a comic book adaption from Gold Key Comics. If you want to learn more about Gold Key, check out my video on the 1965 Astro Boy Gold Key comic. Now like that 1965 Astro Boy comic, this series saw an adaption of the series, but it had alterations, there were many liberties taken, the plot was altered. The comic was done with in-house talent. Running from 1979 till 1981, Battle of the Planets was planned as a 12-issue limited series, but it would be cancelled after just 10 issues. And despite this cancellation, Battle of the Planets is the first anime to actually be adapted to a limited series in America. The series ran for 104 episodes, and that would be followed later in 1986 with a redubbed, remixed version of the series under the title G-Force Guardians of Space, introducing an entirely new inner generation of viewers to Science Ninja Team Gachamon. Meanwhile, in Japan, Gachamon would play a part in the development of the Super Sentai franchise, with the anime influencing a live-action show, Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger, in 1975. Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger is still on to this day, actually, with its 19th season or series, Kyorio Sentai Zio Ranger, being brought to America, or otherwise known as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, following this, Battle of the Planets would fade out of relevance. That is until 2002, when Top Cow revived the series for a 12 issue limited series. Originally planned as an ongoing series, it featured art from Alex Ross, who was a fan of the show as a child. This series sought to blend the Gachamon continuity with the Battle of the Planets continuity, and it would even go on to have some crossovers with American properties like Top Cow's Witchblade and even the classic 80s team Thundercats. Top Cow also released a manga adaption of Battle of the Planets. Now, this is noteworthy. Gachamon never actually got its own manga in Japan. So this is a manga based on the Top Cow comic book continuity, which was based on the show, which in itself was the American version of a Japanese anime. Now, Gachamon and Battle of the Planets represent a sort of melding of American Japanese imagination. And today, Science Team Ninja Team Gachamon or Battle of the Planets remain in obscurity, but with talks of a new movie adaption coming from the Russo brothers, who knows what the future holds for this franchise that introduced multiple generations of fans to anime for the first time. And that's the story of Space Ninja Team Gachamon, or better known in America as Battle of the Planets. Thanks again for listening. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe.